Hey everyone! So yesterday, Lindsay Sterling launched a new single called Ice Storm. I mean, I'm recording this on Friday, so for me it's yesterday. I think I've listened to the song about three times now. And then I thought, okay, the chorus doesn't seem too difficult. I could have a go at playing it by ear. And then I thought, why not make a video about it? So here we are today and, and possibly tomorrow as well. Depending on how good or bad this goes, I'll be learning to play Ice Storm by ear. The funny thing is, playing by ear is something that I'm not really used to and that I'm actually not that comfortable with either. So today I thought, let's train that playing by ear thing a bit more and let's see how far I get. So let's have a go at this, shall we? So I decided to learn the chorus of the song first. And here I'm listening to the song on Spotify. But since I can't put the actual song in this video, of course, because of copyright, here's some free music for you to enjoy instead. quite doable. Okay, now we're going to attempt playing the intro. The intro sounds like just a pizzicato version of the chorus and that was quite easy. There's that kind of minor feeling of I feel like I should mm, I feel like I should be using a tuner to quickly find out the first and last note of each sentence, so to say. It helps, but let's try it this way. easier if I use the sound on my computer instead of on my phone because I'm using my phone as my microphone. I've attached my microphone to the strap of my camera here. Okay, so now I can listen and talk at the same time. And because of my headphones, you guys cannot hear the song because copyright. Okay. It's a D sharp? It's a D sharp, okay. Okay, moving on. Let's check that. I continue. Can I remember everything? Let's continue 
working with the three chords. Um, let's just do ta, ta, ta. Oh. oh, this E chord actually. Okay, I'm going to practice this a bit more until I know it and hopefully not have any memory slips and then I'll get back to you and then we'll see how the first part of this song actually sounds. So I'll see you in a bit. Hello, it's the next day because yesterday I was completely knackered after almost two hours of listening, playing, listening, playing and meanwhile recording all of this. So today I have practiced this song for one more hour in trying to remember what to play and I've been putting all the pieces together and somehow I managed to remember everything. So let's find out if I still do and let's see how it sounds. Then we get the super high part and I'm going to cheat with an octave down. That slur on the way back is quite difficult to get right. And the chorus repeats itself and then we have a slight variation. Okay, final conclusion. Playing by ear was actually easier than I thought it would be, but still I think it's very inconvenient if I'm honest. I have spent three hours on this song, of which the first two hours was figuring out what notes I had to play. And the last hour on combining all parts. So actually I have hardly put any time yet into technique, phrasing, dynamics and all that kind of stuff. I think that if I had been practicing this with sheet music that I would have gotten to how I played it now in about 30 minutes. But it's a good skill to practice, I guess. I'm actually quite curious now. Do you prefer playing by ear or from sheet music? Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Do stick around if you're up for more violin adventures and I will see you next time. <laughs>